Hi there. I'm Ellen Johnson and I'm the owner of Serendipity Needleworks and the founder of the Stitchers Club. And I just wanted to pop in here really quickly to let those of you know uh, that we just wrapped up our very first um, afternoon session with the Winter Stitch Challenge. And it was a lot of fun. And I don't know, you may or may not know about it. Uh, and that's why one reason I wanted to pop in here was to tell you about it and let you know that it's not too late. Um, I would be more than happy to have you sign up to participate with us. And I'm actually going to just put the link down at the bottom of the screen so that you can see that because like I said, it's not too late to sign up. We went through our very first stitch today. Um, our very first stitch is the slanted baby stitch. And I shared with everyone, uh, first of all, I showed everybody how to do the stitch and it was a live demonstration. And then I also shared with everyone the uses for that stitch, some different ways you can use that stitch on your canvases and also some different threads that you can use for uh, those different or for that particular stitch on your, your different projects. So, um, really the, the gist of the 2021 winter stitch challenge is, um, is kind of a follow up to what I did last year in the fall in September, right before my birthday, I decided to give all of my followers a reverse birthday gift. And I shared 15 different stitches that you can use on your needlepoint projects. And that lasted over the course of three weeks at, we did one stitch a day during the week, Monday through Friday for three weeks. Well, I thought, OK, so what could we do that would be super fun in January to start the new year off right to get you started on what I'm calling our best needlepoint year ever? And I thought, well, OK, we'll do another stitch challenge. So that's what we're doing. But this time we're only going to do it over five days because I know everybody's busy. They have other things going on in their lives. And so I wanted to make sure that it was something that um, would be doable and you'll have the opportunity to learn five stitches, five new stitches. Some of them you may already know, but hopefully you'll learn um, some different uses for them. And, um, you know, if by chance, um, you know, you, you are brand new to needlepoint and you've not ever tried any decorative stitches, then these are simple enough that you should be able to um, at least test them out and maybe find a place that you can use them on one of your projects. Or if you've been working um, on doing most of your needlepoint projects in basket weave or tent stitch, which is the standard needlepoint stitch, then you definitely can, um, can, can maybe use this as an opportunity to learn some new stitches that you can test out on some of your different projects. Um, I wanted to also encourage you, if you know anybody, if you are participating already and you know anybody that you think might enjoy um, joining us, it's obviously not too late to do that. I've got the link down, down below. Um, if you have joined me, then tell me that too. I need to go back over here and look at the comments because I forgot to tell you, wow, you know, it, it is um, absolutely amazing how many people we had joining us. We had at one point, I didn't even look, but Riley is my assistant and she was helping. And she said at one point we had over 450 people with us. And I thought, oh, that is so amazing. So over 450 people were able to learn a new stitch that they can use on their needlepoint projects. So um, that's just super exciting to me. And yeah, oh, Carrie, yes, I have. A lot of people have have um, have found us and I am uh, delighted to have um, the opportunity to share with other people all that I've learned through the years. That's the main reason I'm doing this. I mentioned as we wrapped things up over on our Zoom call, because that's where these are happening every day for the next four days now. So every day, every weekday this week at three o'clock central time is when we get together. But if by some chance you can't join me live, I am recording these and they'll be available for you to watch the replays for a couple of weeks. So um, you do have that opportunity too. you know, you don't have to be available during the time that we're going live. You can watch the recordings. Um, but yes, it's, it's super, super important to me to be able to, I, for lack of a better description, pay it forward. Um, I learned how to do needlepoint when I was nine years old. My grandmother, my dad's mother taught me how to do embroidery first. And then she taught me how to do needlepoint. And uh, I always say I graduated to needlepoint. And my very first project was a pre-worked canvas. Um, she bought it for me at the needlework department at Gafer's department store. That was back when department stores still had needlework departments. And uh, she bought that for me and it was a bouquet of violets. And I filled in the background because it was pre pre work pre stitch. The design was already done. I filled it in with um, tapestry wool, DMC tapestry wool. 
and I don't know where it is now. I think my mother must have it put away somewhere. But um, but anyway, I, you know, it was it, that was my first foray into needlepoint. And I've been stitching ever since. And I learned how to do decorative stitches probably, geez, 20 years ago, I guess. Well, no, I take that back. It was because I owned a brick and mortar store. I have to stop and do the math here. I, I had a brick and mortar store for 14 years. It was a needlepoint and knitting store. And um, it was open from February of 2003 until May of 2017. So for 14 years. So that would have been 2003, 18 years this year. So about 18 years ago was when I learned how to do decorative stitches. I've been doing embroidery for years and years and years and years. And actually prior to doing um, decorative stitches with needlepoint, I was doing, I, I designed a line of embroidery patterns and was selling those to shops around the United States. And they were um, just for surface embroidery for things like you think about lazy daisies and French knots and that sort of stuff. So you can also use those stitches to embellish your needlepoint canvases with. And um, so anyway, that was, that was, uh, I've been doing decorative stitches for nearly 20 years. And I will say there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So there's no way that you can ever um, probably learn all of them. But, uh, you know, it's it's great fun to to learn a bunch of new ones so that you can uh, apply those to your projects or to learn new uses for stitches that you already know. So uh, I always like to encourage my members of the Stitchers Club to, to learn as many new stitches as you can, because the more stitches you have to draw from, uh, the more comfortable and confident you're going to be when it comes time to choose stitches for your different projects. Because I like to equate what we're doing with our painted canvases is actually transforming a two-dimensional painted canvas into a three-dimensional piece of fiber art, which which is what really what your painted canvases are when you use different stitches and different threads and even other kinds of embellishments like beads and, and other findings, you're transforming that two dimensional flat painted canvas into a three dimensional piece of fiber art. And I know so many people think I'm not creative. I can't do that. But yes, you can. Anybody can do this. And, and you, the only way you can learn is by is by actually doing. And so that's uh, my main reason for popping on here today was to extend the invitation to join us. You can see down below there is the link for you to type into the browser bar on your computer. It'll pull up and I will share a screen. Um, let's see. I think I can share the screen. Let me see if I can do that really fast. Um, we're going to share the screen and let's hope fingers crossed it works. So I think it's going to be, uh-oh, it may not. Let me pull up another window and see if that worked. Yes, that worked. Okay, so we want to, well, maybe not. I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. Nope, that didn't work. Well, what do you know? So the link, we will stop sharing that screen because that's not what you want to see. Um, but what we'll do, like I said, the link for, for you, I was going to say, I'll show you what the, what the page looks like. But obviously, um, it, it's probably operator error on my part and I can't get it to do right. But that is what you type into your browser bar and it'll take you to the page where you can sign up. So. Thanks for being here with me. Oh, Lisa's here with us and Lisa was here today and Carol too. So yes, absolutely. I am so, so glad to have so many people here. And um, I appreciate those of you who were with me earlier for popping in to say hello. And if you are watching this as a recording, please do type in where you're watching from. It's always great fun for me to see that too. And if you have questions about it, please share those with me in the chat because I or down below. Actually, I think you have to sign. Do, if you're on Facebook, you can share it in the comments below. And also here on YouTube, you can share those in the comments down below too. I'll be happy to answer those for you. And I will make sure that I keep an eye on our two um, different places over the course of the next few days to make sure we get your questions answered as quickly as possible. Also, if you happen to have a question and you would like to reach out to our help desk, let me share that with you. Let's see. Our help desk is right there. Help at serendipitynedleworks.com. So if you have questions about anything or if you're signed up for the Stitch Challenge and you need to reach out to our help desk, that's the best place to reach out. All right. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for being here with me this afternoon. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.